The space research activities were initiated in India during the early 1960s when the applications of using satellites were still in experimental stages even in the US. With the live transmission of the Tokyo Olympic Games across the Pacific by the American satellite Syncom 3 demonstrating the power of communication satellites, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the founding father of Indian space program, quickly recognized the benefits of Indian space technologies. As a first step, the Department of Atomic Energy formed the INCOSPAR or the Indian National Committee for Space Research under the leadership of Dr. Sarabhai and Dr. Ramanathan in 1962. The Space Science and Technology Centre was established in 1965 at Bailey near Tumba. The Indian Space Research Organisation ISRO, was later formed on August 15th of 1969 on India's 23rd Independence Day. The prime objective of ISRO is to develop space technologies and its applications to various national needs. It is one of the six largest space agencies in the world. The Department of Space DOS, and the Space Commission was set up in 1972 and ISRO was brought under the DOS on June 1st of 1972. Since inception, the Indian National Space Program has been orchestrated well and had three distinct elements. The satellites for telecommunication and remote sensing, the space transportation system, and the application programs. Two major operational systems have been established. The Indian National Satellite, INSAT, for telecommunications and television broadcasting, and the Indian Remote Sensing Satellite, IRS, for monitoring and management of natural resources and disaster management support. But we do not stop here. ISRO further plans to send a man in space, the Indian Manned Space Program, the Gaganyaan. An indigenously developed space capsule on top of India's heaviest lifting rocket, the GSLV Mark III. This will make India only the fourth nation to launch a man in space. Proving that we are no less. Proving that a poor third world nation can develop a big enough space program. Proving that a poor nation can do much better and expand its horizons beyond anything else.